Well, hello everybody, and welcome to yet another episode of my single player campaign in Japan. Now, it took a little bit of a while to prepare for this video. This The setup for this one uh, somehow took longer than the previous one, but let's uh, jump right into it. First of all, the last turn, let's see what we did. So. 33 to 20, not bad, not horrible, yeah, a bit too heavy for us, 7 and 5, so 13 aircraft shot down over Chungking, that is quite nice, oops, for the cost of only, where is it, one Oscar, that is really nice. And these bad boys are going to do the exact same thing again today. I also did some pilot work, but there you go. Shipwise, we lost nothing, naturally. We are too good for that. And we sunk a couple of ships. Australian, British. This is misreported, surely. And a couple of extra ships. Let's go to the commander's support. Right about now. And alright, hello, hello. Oops. The game is still showing in the background somehow. <laughs> that is curious. Okay. So. Now back onto this episode. This is 15, yeah. You see, I always plan a little bit of head, ahead. But we'll see. So, first of all, I did quite a bit of pilot management. I was... Uh, a bit too lazy last episode to do that, so I did it today. And uh, I'm gonna show you a little bit of what's happened. Uh, overall, we're doing pretty good. The first strike on Numea will happen today. We're gonna capture uh, Kuala Lumpur and Malacca, hopefully. We're gonna send some... Uh, we have a lot of fuel and supply in Bubble Dub. Which we need, but we don't have the ships there because they went south. So now uh, uh, some of them are going back. Overall it's gonna take like a week or so to be able to launch the invasion of Java. And hopefully we're gonna make some quick progress because we are a li little bit behind schedule. And also the first battle of Mulmain. The uh, second Kidoptai, also from Bal... Ba Bal... Dov. Jesus Christ, I missed. <laughs> I mistyped it so bad. The second kid of Tai, the. Pa Jesus, <laughs> I must have been drunk or something. The parts are bubbled up to bomb Surbaya. There you go, and it's gonna go to the. to uh, Singapore then, afterwards. And from then into the Indian Ocean, we really need to get our uh, boys onto uh, the Inter Indian Ocean. And uh, next time, we're gonna send some stuff to Numea. Finally. Hopefully it goes, all goes well. Nothing much else from what I can remember. Oh yeah, one thing uh, research-wise that I did was... Uh, I did convert a few of these... Uh, where are they? Ah, yes, of course. A couple of uh, these old aircraft I switched to R&D. Both of them to a couple of extra Tojos. Tojo factories, you see. There you go. So, let's start uh, off with the pilots. I replaced uh, the first generation. I replaced them, for example. Let's see which ones. These ones, you see. Actually, no, these ones are uh, new. These ones I replace them, and if you look at the replacements for all of them, this is the Navy of course. I, I pulled exactly zero from the new generation, just so you know. Actually I can show you this like this. Also we have a couple new aces. You see, I uh, we have some in the pool, which of course uh, these guys got, got added. But I am pulling exactly zero of them, because I do not want any new 
pilots because I want to retrain some of these guys that I pulled back into the reserve from the so this is still I'm still working with the zero generation of pilots and once again if you take a look here for example the fighter pilots for the navy you also observe the number because I pulled exactly zero from the replacement pool you can do the calculations for uh, well, how many I pulled into units and how many I uh, re retrained you know are on the map generally and you can see that we harvested quite a lot of actually sort by air because this is the relevant stat we have some about until here so I'd say about like a hundred or so uh, like 70 good quote unquote good you'll see uh, fighter pilots I'm not so much concerned about experience as I am about air skill same with everything else because uh, experience once they get into the field they will get experience uh, look at the bombers of course with the bombers there are quite uh, there are two different types torpedo bombers you can see we are running short on torpedo bombers or at least we were but once we have harvested some of the ones that are, have already been, been trained you can see we have about let's say here about 60 about 50 or so uh, torpedo bomber trained pilots which is not great but here you go and of course a lot more not actually that much more but uh, naval bombers uh, pilots these of course uh, you see I have very little in my patrol plane pool just because I am simply after uh, training my float planes in naval search these guys are not done so here you go these were raw refresh recruits where are they not this one either hmm. ah yes this ones you can see they are already pretty decent at uh, naval search so I'm now simply training them to ASW therefore I pulled uh, exactly pretty much none into the reserve pool I just have a few ah yes these islands are already trained you can see their experience their naval search they, I, these guys are still not good I need to retrain them for ASW but there you go what else this is the navy pool let's look at the army pool of course I did the same I harvested of the, all of the ones above 60 they are in the reserve and pulled in those that are around mid level you can see we have a lot more bombers uh, bombers and fighters for the army because of course we do not have any torpedo planes here so no need to worry about that and you can see we have our uh, pool maybe I should have compared to before but we do have about 100 or something average level experience fighters so that is very good and we have generally lost well very little in terms of these guys yet bomber wise we of course look at ground bombing and you can see after harvesting we have even though we started with like none we have about like 100 or so trained and of course many many more in the reserve in the units being trained actively on of course on the front line guys also a couple of recon guys there you go so what else did I say I want to do ah yes let's cover them one by one first of all in uh, Malacca we're gonna strike here and here hopefully we dislodge them and hopefully next turn we're gonna clear up this Railroad to ship a bunch of these guys. I'm already putting them in prep mode to move there To move to uh, Bangkok because they do not have enough engineers and naval supply I mean aviation support So these guys can barely operate. I'm just training most of them you see And I'm just doing some scouting and also reinforcing these guys with some supply 
we're also gonna attack here of course we'll see how we do you can see a bunch of stuff here yeah that i told you and uh The second Kidobuzai is going to here for the moment. I don't actually even have them. How, how far will they go? They won't go far. So no reason to actually put them into combat mode. They are not into combat mode yet, but uh, they will be next turn. So there you go. And of course, uh, over here, we're still bombing. We're gonna bomb... Uh, the airfield of Batavia and over here Zorobaya as per usual over here I put two, two of these guys that just bomb anything you want let's see what they do bomb oh yeah a couple of small invasions because I had them already we're gonna invade here go to Medan and advance out to Sabang and what else oh yeah and I'm relocating a bunch of subs you can see pretty much all of my subs are going here and they're gonna go, as I told you uh, in the New Year episode, I'm gonna rebase pretty much all of my subs in the uh, Pacific. So that they can form finally the proper formations. We are also gonna get started on the milk cows. Right. Over here, I actually decided to cancel uh, sending out uh, the first uh, cruiser division. They're still important. In order for them to escort uh, our invasion next time. So there you go. In exchange, I put together the main fleet. Where are they? These bad boys. These bad boys can uh, wreck some uh, anything in their way. Take a look at them. 40 torpedoes on each side. And they're gonna go to Milan Bay to patrol. We'll see these guys. Heading northeast, so uh, they will intercept, hopefully. And we also, of course, have our guys here. Unfortunately, not many of our... Uh, a little problem that we have overall is not enough patrol planes, and they're not, uh, of course, trained enough, and uh, they don't have the range to go do everything I want, so we are lacking in that department, especially over here. We have very little. I'm actually using these guys right now for naval search because I do not have anything else. There you go. We're also sending some guys here. And uh, again, subs going back to Rabal to reinforce. You can see we are running out of supply. This is not enough, certainly, to do anything. But we have a couple of convoys coming in, which will hopefully be enough. You can see this is our cruiser task force, which will just sit in Numea, and our carriers, uh, carrier division 3 and 5, they're going here, and then this is of course for first turn, first two turns, and afterwards I want to sweep Brisbane as well. We see some ships here, and hopefully, yeah, the weather will be on our side. Over here, not much done, oh yeah. I noticed this convoy with a cruiser so I'm doing I'm actually managing to do the maneuver that I call the shark jaw only it's a bit a, a little bit misplaced but you can see actually you can see but you see these guys are all going over here in the exact pattern of a uh, trapped jaw you know so that are essentially clamping down on both sides and hopefully we will be able to get at least an intercept, if not some kills. We'll see. What else is there? Anything else? Oh yeah, well, a bunch of our tankers are uh, still in port over here. We do not have enough escorts so i'm just letting them sit in port but hopefully soon enough we'll be able to send them to singapore so that when we capture uh, palembang we can do some uh, very efficient convoys there you go and also our battleships will arrive here next turn and together here they are together we will be able to uh, 
bombard these guys or maybe here wherever and uh, make some good progress in Burma who knows always make sure to save always make sure to save and let's turn the turn in China a bunch of combat uh, is taking place None of it particularly interesting, but uh, we'll cover it when we get to it. Oh yeah, I'm, cha I'm chasing these guys from Luoyang. And these guys... Yeah. Not much to be said, honestly, but there you go. <sighs> Hopefully, we are progressing slowly with some difficulties encountered, but surely... Uh, we are in the position to win this. Here is an American sub. We did not actually have to deal with any American subs for a bit of a while. So I got kind of careless. I don't actually remember which task force this is. The Kisaragi Maru. I do not remember where they are going. AMC Tutakao. What the... To Takao? Well, I, I do not remember these guys at all. And she sings, unfortunate. And, oh. Uh, hello there. Oh yeah, these guys are... Uh, I sent a singular uh, base force to invade Canton because I know it's very lightly defended, right? Presumably, right? But, uh, Interestingly, we ran across a gigantic convoy. Hmm. And take a look at that. Now, I was certainly not expecting this and I do not have any forces. Now, the reason for that is uh, for invading Canton. Is so that I can finally position my uh, patrol planes. They are getting uh, good enough at torpedo bombing. To actually be able to do something, right? But I did not expect that. And take a look at that. The tip of our spear has uh, hit the a tanker. And here is the invasion. Interesting. We did not retreat. I do not know where, where they are either. Mm -hmm. And yeah, see. Very lightly defended. We are invading. No losses. That's good. Oh yeah, these guys from uh, Milne Bay are going here to invade to block off their retreat. Very nice. We may even catch some supply. Oh, and here, here they are. Let's look, let's watch some memes happen. This, these are the two. Litchi. Now that I think about it, these two are probably the most deadly ships in the entire game. Which is pretty funny to think about. Mm. But really... Oh, uh oh, <laughs> torpedoes in the water. <laughs> you see, this is what happens when you have 40 torpedoes. You can just launch them from any range, whatever the case may be. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty sure there is literally no ship in the game that can kill these guys. 1v1, you know. Or at least they can surely kill them, but they will get torpedoed in return. And they're using their guns, not their torpedoes, which is interesting. Ah, they are... Hmm. Perhaps they are just preserving their torpedoes? Yeah, I would, I would imagine, imagine so. Yeah, they are just preserving their torpedoes, yeah. Good call, good call. Torpedoes are expensive after all. And there are ships in Luganville. Huh. Now. How many tiles away is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six. Just a bit out of range, unfortunately. Now. I did not expect this. I expected all of their ships to be in Numea. So this is a bit uh, un unexpected. Ah, we even take a hit. Perhaps I should have committed these guys, yeah, the surface ships to here while these guys sweep here. 
I was not smart enough to anticipate that, however. Where are these guys? Oh, this is that one singular here. Very nice. Two tankers attacked in a single turn. That's very nice. And we, of course, have dog shit weather. Ah. What can you expect, really? Come on. Here are our uh, Oscars from uh, Hankou over Chungking. We are doing long range bombing. And of course, the Hayabusa aircraft engine is proving its superiority 4 to 0. That is very nice. And we are bombing here, of course. Doing some good damage. Oh, these guys were late. Oh, hello there. So they still have functional aircraft in uh, Malacca, yes. 11 Wildebeest, Jesus. Those guys are dangerous. And 12 buffaloes. Hmm. Hel hello? Oh, these guys may be from... Where are these guys from? And they tried to torpedo me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's not nice. Oh, and here we go. We actually detect a convoy. A tanker. Good hit. Good hit. A tanker. Weird position for a tanker to be in. Mm. Maybe they are going back to America. And they have fuel on board. That's very nice. Two tankers. California Standard. Hmm. I'm sure those uh, stockholders will be uh, very upset about this. Two bombs, two ships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice hits. Two tankers down. Actually, four tankers down. Yeah, four tankers hit in a single day. That is a very nice outcome. Although we do have bad weather, so... Uh, it's uh, not exactly good for our search efforts. Here we go over Batavia. Bombing the airfield. And we do not damage any planes on the ground. Hmm. Weird. And we... Okay. We destroy one buffalo on the ground. Not nice. Oh, and we intercept some guys escaping. We again have bad weather. The weak field... If I remember right, she did take a torpedo and she takes yet another. And she go she doesn't go down, but another transport uh, receives four torpedoes and she goes down. That is nice. And we are bombing Surabaya 2 with moderate damage. Good. It is very good to know that uh, we are keeping these cruisers in check. Here we are over this uh, task force. And we are once again sweeping Rangoon, but zero cap. Why? I do not know. And these guys, who I told to bomb whatever, are bombing Palembang. The airfield, uh, I guess, uh, interesting choice. Here these guys from Balikpapan come again. I think in two turns we will be here. With a full division, of course. And these guys, once again, this, this time they do put two torpedoes into our ships. Hopefully she won't go down. These guys are very nice ships. And some damage, that's not nice. Oh, here we go again. Oh, again on the tankers. Uh, quite a big strike for such a small convoy, okay. <laughs> a bit overkill, but okay. This is... Uh... Okay. We are taking some damage, okay. And like, at Gas Mata, and over here. 
Then you get very small units everywhere. And we of course are moving in the Philippines towards Manila. To finally wipe the Americans from Luzon. We are attacking here. Sorry about that. We are attacking here. Without great success. Mm. Not nice. But they will fall eventually. These guys which were uh, getting hammered by uh, our aircraft finally retreat. And they go into Nanyang. These guys are gonna go over here. These guys... I actually want these guys to go back. We will see. Because I certainly have enough force. Oh, Jesus Christ, 11,000 casualties. That's a China mo moment. Mm. Over here. We fail somehow. Fatigue. Mm. And we are attacking here. These guys are the ones that retreated from Loyang. And you can see they are completely broken. One division is attacking. These guys are just moving in here. Yeah. And we fail of course. Because yeah. But we are harassing them and not letting them rest at all. Hopefully when the rest of the army comes. They will they will make them surrender. And you can see Jesus. In Malacca they have the Gurkha Brigades. These guys are very good troops. And the Indians. Very good troops. A lot more force than in Singapore. I tell you that much. Our armor is also a little late, for a reason that I do not remember why, okay, yeah, hmm, Let, let's go, and we fail, but we do reduce the fortifications, and we hurt them severely, hmm, this may be a tougher battle than I imagined. And over here in Kuala Lumpur, we do capture it. They, these guys are, do not have any force. They, going to, they are going to Taiping. And uh, they retreat in the most obnoxious manner in existence. Uh, this is annoying. Very annoying. Because... Yeah, I guess we are not getting that rail line. And here we are attacking at Mulmain. Let's see how, what they have in them. Let's see if they can put up a serious resistance. Of course our two divisions are not formed up yet. We still have one guy arriving. but And of course once we capitulate Malaya. We're gonna have one division and uh, some tank forces arriving. But let's see here. Overall in this campaign I have not been using my tank forces uh, appropriately. And in the future I hope to rectify that. We do... So the... Huh. Is this telling me that they had level 3 force? I guess it explains the dice roll but very good to know that we have... A 2 to 1 advantage on them. And we do take some serious losses. Ah. Uh, we're gonna need some rest. But uh, I guess it's better than they are. Yeah, in Guam we are finally attacking. And we still are not able to take Guam. Jesus Christ. Holy moly. God I hate them. Over here, finally attacking, we captured it good. And they somehow still retreat. God, I hate them. Over here. Now, because we have so few uh, SNLF guys, I'm literally forced to, uh, you see, garrison these guys with uh, JNF guys. This is not what I want. And these guys finally surrender. Jesus Christ. Hopefully we are uh, gonna surrender those guys too. Next turn. And finally these guys from Singora have arrived. 
and I'm gonna be able to actually move these guys all to the north. And they are retreat. Also on the rail line. Very annoying. Okay. And in Canton, we shock attack. And we capture, they surrender. And holy moly. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. So... Now this is a bit weird. So the allies do not start with this, right? They must have been using Canton to hop over, right? To island hop these uh, long range bombers and scout planes. They must have ca caught them mid jump. Now this is very lucky. Um, I might, I must say, a very like lucky outcome. But I will take it. I will take it. Also, a bunch of our ships uh, are upgrading currently, including our uh, uh, minesweepers, so uh, I cannot clear out uh, Batan right now, but uh, we will see about that in like, I don't know, like four days or so. And they are attacking us at Kukong, okay. Fair enough, I guess. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, these poor dudes. Not a good result. Very good, that's the first day. Excuse me while I drink some tea. Mm, very nice. It is called uh, San Benedetto. Hmm, lemon tea. There you go, iced tea. I call it. Probably some bootleg uh, Italian stuff. But there you go. Alright. This is the Nautilus, okay. These guys are intercepting. This is, these guys are my uh, supply from Truk to uh, Kwajalein. Good to know where the Nautilus is. Very good to know. And our sub tries but fails to attack. At least that they try and they do not get depth charged. Here are our boys in Numea. This is the second cruiser division, and uh, this is one whole ship. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And they had... Now this is not good. They had guns and vehicles on board. And if I know anything about uh, this number of guns... And vehicles... I dare say this is a whole div division. We may have been a little bit too late in arriving here. I dare say they already unloaded most of the everything. And here we are, right next to Numea. Next turn we will maybe have some good intel on Numea. So, uh, mental reminder to do that. We do detect some task forces there. Again, nothing over Rangoon. Although we do see fighters, like Jesus Christ, what are they doing? <sighs> the only thing that I can think of is that they are defending like a Mandalay or something. And they have just abandoned the Rangoon. They do not know. Here are our boys in China again. Doing good work, 4 to 0 again. And oh, well, would you look at that? The AI actually do, did uh, a good thing. So the AI must have saw, saw, seen 
that uh, they bombed us from Medan. And even though I did not order them to, they attacked Medan out of their own initiative. Very good, eh? Very good. And of course we destroy some buffaloes. We do lose some... Hmm. We lose more than we give. Hmm. And a Blenheim. Not nice, not nice. Especially because those are uh, good pilots. But okay. And 12 Wildebeest, Jesus. Yeah, I think these guys are from Medan. And these guys are good ships. Oof, Jesus. Both of them sunk. Not nice. I... <laughs> well, this is a good lesson to uh, always recon. When I said that uh, I pulled these guys out of uh, here too quickly, I really... Yeah, I... am uh... I should have done uh, better research, better recon. And here we go, we intercept a second convoy. Quite a lot of them, as you can see. Uh, I really wish I had uh, been quicker here. Uh, and of course we hit the swan. So we sink. One, two, three four five maybe six ships that's good i think those guys are just cargo ships though mm. oh and six are diverted to here what is here very nice very nice all of them dead uh, hopefully they had some aircraft i don't know no escort at least we know that that they do not have cap over a uh, nomea and I, apparently they have a tanker in the f same X as my uh, surface combat task force. Okay, I guess. Two tankers even. Mm -hmm. Okay. I guess our uh, surface ships are uh, very hes hesitant. Here's yet another convoy. Tiny one. Two torpedoes. Very good result. And yet another one with just one ship. And we waste a bunch of torpedoes. Well, at least, at least we have plenty of targets. Come on, AM face. Holy moly, another two tankers. Probably from uh, Panembang. Yeah. Very nice. Good number of tankers sunk today. Very nice. Bombing uh, Surabaya again. Two aircraft destroyed. Okay. And some, some good ship damage too. One uh, submarine too. Two submarines. Okay. Attacking here. Okay. Here are our carriers again. We even see a submarine. Okay. We did, uh, we did some more risk. Uh, ris con. Okay. Jesus Christ, there sure are, are a lot of ships. No transport ships though. Mm. That is worrying, because it's telling me that either they are already unloaded, or they're here in port. Yeah, so we are doing significant damage to uh, cargo ships. Also wasting all of our uh, torpedoes. Oh, hello, hello. This is a transport, okay. Very good, uh, that's an Australian one, I recognize it. So very good to know that we sunk it. Thing, yeah, sunk it. So good, uh, good target pra practice. Also good to know again that they do not have aircraft yet in Numea. But they probably do have some serious forces there land forces we will see however home if they are enough to stop our division in my previous campaign they have been enough to halt me for around three months i do not want to let that happen again 
good damage, but a poor attack. And hello, <laughs> what the hell is this? Uh, <laughs> so uh, okay, I guess we have armor, I guess. So, but what the hell is going on here? Oh, these guys move from Pinxiang. These guys are the ones that retreated here. So you cross the river here. My intent was to go to Pinxiang with these guys, right? Or uh, over here, yeah? Huh. I did not see this unit, so okay. We attack at Molek again. This time they are a lot more damaged. And we captured it, finally. Thank you. And they are again doing the same thing. Uh, uh, very annoying thing of going to tai Taiping. I guess presumably they hope to go here and here. Uh, high hopes. 5000 casualties. But you can see they still have like a full division worth of troops. That's not nice. I really want to get rid of them. But this is taking way too long. Hopefully, we can, uh, perhaps we can simply hold here, we'll see, we'll see. And we are just bombarding at Mulmain this time, okay. Again attack at Guam and we again fail, Jesus Christ. These guys are indestructible. Here uh, we finally get our tanks in here and of course they are ravaged, they... Batan has shattered them, but uh, soon enough they will get some rest. They are gonna be transported in uh, Singapore. And they will rest and regroup there. I also have like 160,000 or so supply in uh, Singapore, which is very good. I have more supply in Singapore than I have in Tokyo. It's again a very good thing because I do need all that supply in here. I went much quicker this time as, uh, than la last time. And they are attacking us again. This time doing some real damage. Hmm. They must be getting a little tired at least. Okay. Right, I'll... Before I forget, this is the episode mostly. Let's check a look. Uh, before I forget, I, I'll take a look at Numea. 22 bombers, so uh, clearly I was wrong. They do have aircraft, just not fighters. Hopefully, these are the shitty uh, Australian ones. One submarine here. And again, we are in the same hex as the tanker. Do I have a shitty commander? Uh, kind of, kind of. Uh. But there are ships here and here. They don't have troops here though. I'm not worried really about uh, Luganville. But over here, two units. Jesus Christ. This could be anything. Judging by the color though. Uh, these guys are uh, bright green, while the Australians, as you can see here, are dark green. So I'm thinking these guys are American. Actually, I can compare. Uh, or these guys in Guam? Yeah. These guys are actually American. So I am actually thinking these guys are uh, like a marine regiment or uh, something like that. At, at the very least, we sunk some uh, guns and vehicles. Uh, but again, this turn we we do have our division here, and even though we don't have many uh, SNLF guys, but uh, what we have, we have to use it right now. We cannot delay the invasion of Numea any longer. I do want, I would have wanted to use these guys with uh, preparation, but time does not allow it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna land here. At La Foire, and uh, then uh, into Numea. Over here, 
where are hello ah yeah these guys had refueled the the day before so yeah and also our battleships are here oh actually just before i leave you off here they are 20 b17s and 15 and 5 20 my oscars just killed 20 chinese aircraft 86 to 31 <laughs> Uh, we are approaching that uh, 3 to 1. Let's take a look. 10 pilots killed. Out of 31, that's actually pretty good. But what did we lose today? Uh, some Sally's, of course. Not nice. And 7 zeros. Mostly due to ups, though. Okay. If you actually take a look at the uh, top pilots, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take a look. The 54th Sentai. We nearly... Let's take a look. 31 kills. These guys have only been sweeping Chungking for like 6 days. 31 kills for... Wow. I forget what th these numbers mean. So 4 in total, right? Actually, it's... Oops. I can take a look like this. Ah, whatever. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Take a look at these guys. Very nice. Look, even a Tracom guy. We And we really need the Tracom guys for the army. There you go. I even overloaded this unit a little bit. More than it's got aircraft. Just because I was sure that uh, it, it, it will get aces soon enough. And uh, ship-wise... We did lose two oh, ships, four ships even. Mostly near here. Not nice. And these guys, thankfully they did unload properly. Okay. These guys got a little roughed up. Okay. But the Americans, holy moly. <laughs> holy moly. This is just last turn, right? <laughs> Take a look. Three tankers, at least three tankers. We know like six we actually killed. All of them the same class, actually. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, very funny. And the wake fill, hopefully. And a bunch of cargo ships. Our boys. Our boys on uh, the Kidobutai are very good. I'm sure they got some great experience from this. Yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't like score kills or so here so you can't actually measure how good they are right but you can see you know we certainly put a dent on it so anyway before i forget let's save and thank you guys for watching and uh, see you next time